Getting a soil test is a free and easy way to learn more about your garden soil and to grow healthier fruits and veggies. Your results will also help you avoid adding too much fertilizer or compost, which can pollute our waterways. Every resident in King Conservation District service area can receive five free soil tests for wherever they garden. In this video, we will show you how to take your soil sample and get it sent to the lab for testing. First, you will need to gather some tools. To dig, you will need a shovel, trowel, or other digging tool of your choice. Make sure you will be able to dig a six to 12 inch hole with whatever tool you choose. You will need a bucket or tub to mix your soil samples in and a gallon Ziploc bag for each sample you want to send in. A scale is helpful for weighing out your sample and you will also need a copy of the soil sample form from KCD's website. Timing is very important when performing a soil test. You will want to test your soil in the fall for winter crops and in the spring for summer crops. If there has just been a heavy rain and your soil has a soupy or muddy consistency, you will want to wait to take your sample until after things have dried out a bit. And if you've just applied compost or fertilizer, you will want to wait around two weeks to take your soil sample. Next, determine what areas you will be sampling. If you grow very different types of crops, like a vegetable garden and a berry patch, you will want to do a different test for each of those areas because plants will need different soil conditions to thrive. If you have multiple small gardens in different areas, those should also be tested separately since soil conditions can change from location to location. Once you have determined the area to test, it's time to take your first subsample. To take a subsample, dig a wedge out of the soil. In the spring and summer, dig about six to eight inches down. In the fall, dig 12 inches down. From the side of this wedge, take a thin slice of soil and add it to your bucket. Remove any rocks or pieces of plants. You'll want to take multiple subsamples from throughout your garden and combine them all for the sample you'll send to KCD. Try to randomly select spots throughout your entire garden to sample. You can see we have marked our subsample spots in this video. Depending on the size of your garden, you'll want to take 5 to 15 subsamples. Dig a subsample at each location and add the soil to your bucket. Repeat across your garden area until you have taken 5 to 15 subsamples. Once you have your sample, break up any clumps, remove rocks or large woody debris, and mix all the soil in your bucket well so that the subsamples get combined. Make sure you get at least three pounds, otherwise the lab might not accept the sample. Now, add three pounds of soil into your gallon Ziploc bag. If you don't have a scale, filling a gallon-sized bag should provide enough soil. The last steps are to fill out your soil testing form and drop the soil with the form at the KCD office or mail it to the King Conservation District. List your home address and garden address on the form if different. Give each of your samples a unique five letter name. Make sure your sample name and your last name are on the form and written on the outside of the bag of soil. It's important that you get your sample to the KCD office or in the mail the same day that you take it. You can ring our doorbell to drop it off directly, or if no one is there, you can leave it in the designated spot outside our office door. If you can't submit the sample that day, put it in the refrigerator until you mail it or drop it off. KCD staff will make sure your soil sample is sent off to the lab right away. You will get an email with your results in about three weeks. Check out our soil sampling page for more information about what to do when you get your results. And you can always get in touch with KCD if you have any questions about your soil test.